Hey traders, welcome to WeTrade Waves weekly forex forecast. We hope all of you had a great trading week. It was amazing for us. Trades of the week went as expected and most of the pairs moved as planned. So keep watching till the end and let's get started. DXY, for this one, if you remember last week we said this corrective structure, we do not think it's finished yet. And this what happened. Market gave us a corrective structure here, it went back up, and then we've got this drop. Right? This was a corrective structure in the middle, and this was the drop here to the downside. From here, we said guys, be careful. This is the last week of the month, and we are starting December which means market will misbehave and we will get a massy structure. Can you see this mass here guys? All of this is a massy structure, but we are reading this step by step, wave by wave. Do you remember that? So all of you who were selling from here, we hope that you made money in this down wave and those who get in the sale, you must be in profits at the moment. What next? For the XY, we can see market moving downward before any next structure. So first of all, we need to see this down wave and then we'll update you. This down wave guys, it might go all the way down to break this low and this low as well. All right? If anyone of you is in the sell, you manage your trades. After this down wave, we will update you. Euro dollar for this one. I really hope guys, all of you remember this forecast. Last week we said guys, this corrective structure is not finished as yet. Market gave us a corrective structure, it dropped. Where it dropped? Under this low. And remember, this was here a trade of the week two weeks ago. All of you remember this forecast and this trade of the week, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Those of you who don't know about our trades of the week, I'll cover this for you in a moment. So, for your dollar, Market gave us a corrective structure and then this drop. After that, we've got this sharp up wave. Our traders, they made money here and they made money in this up wave as well. After this up move, market gave us a corrective structure and we are moving to the upside one more time. So for Euro dollar, we are biased to the upside. First of all, one will push up to break this top, this top, and then we'll update you. Remember, the structure is in the middle. And I'm repeating this again, we are in December. You have to minimize your risk and reduce your trading activities. All right, guys? All of you are in the buy, you move your stops and let market unfold. At the moment and for now, we can see Euro dollar moving upwards. More details regarding this structure and where Euro dollar might go next will be discussed in details by T on Sunday session. Now what will you get in our in-depth analysis service? Sunday live session with T. If you cannot attend live, the session will be recorded and recording will be available for seven days. You will get midweek review analysis via email. In addition to that, you will get trades of the week and trades of the month. So if you are interested, you can subscribe in just few clicks. Pound dollar, this was amazing, and I'll explain you why. For this one, most of retail traders, they thought that this was a pin bar here, or whatever rejection you can see, and they thought that market will never break this low again. What we said last week, corrective structure, one more drop, and then an up wave. Those of you who are new to WeTradeWave's channel, go back and watch our previous video. So for pound dollar, market moved exactly as expected. All of you get in the sell and made profits, perfect. And those who are in the buy at the moment, you move your stops and let market unfold. Pound dollar is at a critical level. So from this one, we might see reaction and this up wave, it might be massy or impulsive. At the moment, we can see this up wave will be going up correctively. Can this one turns out to be an impulsive wave? We need more waves here and more structures to decide. At the moment, we are biased to the upside. 
Aussie dollar for this one. How many of you remember that we said here corrective structure? One more drop and do not miss this up wave. Do you remember that? Market went in and then we've got this up wave as a sharp move. What next? Even if this one will be going up, we will get a corrective structure here before any next structure. So those of you are in the buy, you manage your trades. And those of you are not in, wait market to give you a corrective structure downwards. And then you go for the next buy setup. At the moment, we are biased to the downside as a corrective structure. Remember guys, these are not entries or targets. Market can push higher than these levels. This is why I'm saying those of you are in the buy, you move your stops. And those of you are not in, you have to wait a corrective structure downwards. Now, those of you who are new to WeTradeWaves channel, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to not miss any update. Dorian, market dropped here. You remember this drop from here, right? And all of you must remember this up wave as a trade of the week from these levels. So every single wave for every single structure. Anyway, for this one, market can move to the downside from here or after this push up. If market will give us this up wave from here to the upside, we will look for our sell setups one more time. So for dollar yen, we are biased to the downside. New Zealand dollar, we said this is like Aussie dollar. Market gave us a corrective structure, we've got this drop and then this up wave. What next? Looks like market will be pushing up again here and then we'll update you. At the moment, we are biased to the upside for New Zealand dollar. Pound yen for this one, we said last week guys, we are expecting an up wave. Market went up, it gave us a corrective structure and looks like we are going to the upside one more time. This up wave guys, it might be an impulsive wave, corrective structure, another up move. So again, those of you who get in the buy, you can take partial profits, you can close your trade or you can manage your trades. Decision is up to you. For us, we are still biased to the upside. Those of you who are new to our channel, go back guys and watch our previous video. And do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss any update. Yes all for this one, all of you remember this drop and we said to you, even if you are expecting US oil to go to 50, you have to take profits and wait. So market went up and on Sunday session, we mentioned about 72, 73 levels. This is where the market basically started to react. What next? This can drop from here or after this corrective structure. In all the cases, we are still biased to the downside and we will only look for our sell setups for US oil. More details about why under 50, the bigger picture, and the bigger pattern here will be discussed in details by T on Sunday session. Gold, for this one guys, you know whenever you have uncertainty in the world, gold will shoot up. And all of you must be aware about the new version of coronavirus, and few countries are looking to put restrictions again. So if that happens, gold will shoot back up. At the same time, dollar is strong. Economy indicators in US are not bad and I want you to try to read what Fed are planning to do next. Structurally, gold is in the middle. Regarding the structure and the pattern, details will be shared on Sunday session. But for now, we will be biased to the upside, either from current levels or from under this low. If market will go down to break this low, we will look for our buy setups again. So for gold, short term we might get this drop, we might not sell it. If you are a scalper or if you want to go for the sell, you go for it, it's up to you. For us, we will ignore the sell setups and we will look for our buy setups only. Again, either from current levels or from under this low. Is that clear guys? Dorcad, for this one, market drop. We were waiting one push up here, instead market gave us this down wave. We did not get in the sell, we were waiting here. Market gave us this drop and now looks like we are correcting upwards. If 
This up wave will be a corrective structure to us. And we got cell setup. We might go for the next cell setups. These setups, guys, they might not be ready this year. So for now, we will leave dollar CAD and we will focus on other pairs. Silver, for this one, we said last week, corrective structure upwards and then this drop. This is exactly what market did. Now, for this one, market is still not ready to shoot up. So here we might get another corrective structure, another drop. Under this low, we will start to look for our buy setups and do not jump in under this low. Market might shoot back down more than that. So be careful here. The more market will be going to the downside, this will be your opportunity to invest again. Any up wave guys from current levels will be only as a corrective structure and then this drop. Even if that happens, we will not buy silver. If you wanna buy it, it's up to you. At the moment, we can see silver is correcting upwards as a small corrective structure and then another drop will be coming. Bitcoin, for this one guys, market went up and it's giving us a corrective structure. If this turns out to be a corrective structure, the next wave is towards the upside. This drop guys is your opportunity. Don't freak out. Market makers will make sure that most of retail traders are out and they will buy cheaper. One single pattern shows us that Bitcoin might drop to 20. If that happens, this will be your best opportunity to invest in Bitcoin. Don't freak out. Before 20 levels, we need to see an up wave here and then the drop. At the moment, we are biased to the upside. Even if you are investing, do not over risk and you must invest wisely. Regarding the pattern that might push Bitcoin to 20 will be explained on Sunday session. Most traders, they start to trade, they lose big and then they decide to learn. Don't be most traders. You have to learn first and then you risk your money. With that note, I wish you a successful trading week. Thanks for watching. We hope that you learned something new. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. This is very important. Leave a comment. Stay safe. Trade with care. And see all of you next week.